Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and welcome to another dot com video. I'm here at the San Clemente outlet for the weekly cars and coffee meetup. Looks like a really, really busy day. Lots of car, beautiful, sunny, uh, really warm, I'm wearing shorts. And so let's go check out some of the rides. Nice Ferrari 328, see? 328, last week this car was here and uh, one of my viewers said that he thinks it's a 308. Well, uh, now we know it's a 328 because I am never wrong when it comes to cars. Mercedes AMG GT, nice McLaren. Now motorcycle leaving. Oh wow, Ford GT. Really nice. Yeah, uh, I sat in this and uh, my head hits the roof, so I, I don't really fit this car. Well, I, I fit, but my head hits the roof. It's not very comfortable. It's kind of small. Unfortunately, unfortunate because it is a beautiful car and I would you know love to drive it, but it's I won't be able to stay inside for any f short trips only. Definitely not gonna go across country with this thing. I, I'm just too tall. <laughs> AMG GT convertible. Uh, this is the one that get, you know, I love the convertible more than the coupe because this is California. And speaking of, uh, Convertible is the Lamborghini Aventador Rosta. Every carbon option you can name. <laughs> Even a carbon fiber shrug tower. All the way from Utah. Nice. Vintage Porsche Turbo, uh, new generation Porsche Turbo in yellow. Cool. Try F12 next to a Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's. There you go. See, back when things were simple and everything was mechanical with no computer control whatsoever. And uh, antenna, remember those? Bent seats in the front, bent seats in the back. <laughs> wow. I don't know, so it light? <laughs> More vintage cars. Yeah, we all, all types of cars are welcome. Cars and coffees, sports cars, super cars, low riders, oh, okay. hot rods. <laughs> wow, that, that, that is a cool hot rod. Very nice. <laughs> Lincoln, another low rider. Look at this truck. Wow, <laughs> slam it right to the ground. That's a pretty, that's a pretty, pretty color on this. Thing. No one's towing this thing. And look at those wheels. Rubber band tires. <laughs> Psy exhaust. Continue right along. We got some fast and furious action right here. There's a, and another one. The Drift Kings here. Alfa Romero. Very nice. Audi R8. GT3, big Nissan GTR R34, another McLaren, RSX, 458 Spider, 458 Coupe, very nice Lamborghini Aventador with a 
AVD one wheels. These are some really nice looking wheels, three piece. Yeah. A lot of expensive mods in this one. McLaren 720. The new Karma. So this used to be a company called Frisker, but uh, Frisker went under and the company was sold to some Chinese interest and they bought it back as a reveal, but the name is called Karma. So this is the old, the old one. If you look at the nose, that's the old style. And this is the, uh, the update. Looks kind of more like Tesla-like. Uh, yeah, so old, new. Yeah. Another older, older style. Behind these buses. Oh, okay. So. Porsche GT4. Over here we see the Volkswagen Club with my favorite Volkswagen, the Thing. You get nice and yellow. Dodge Viper. Really cool Mustang with a Whipple Supercharger. Yeah, now we're talking. Look at the size of that intake. That's a big Whipple. Uh, another Mustang. Interesting kit on this one. McLaren 650 Spider. Superleggera Lamborghini Gallardo. Austin DB, DB10, I believe. Or DB9. And this is cool. Now, what is this? The Valha 05. Oh, I see. This is the car used for the new Race of Champions series, ROC. So, uh, used to be called the IROC or International Race of Champion, but now it's just, uh, now it's just ROC, <laughs> Race of Champion. And basically, it takes racers from this, different types of discipline like rally driving, uh, stock car racing, F1, Indy car racing, puts them all in the same car or same vehicle, same spec vehicle, which is this vehicle right here. So basically the question is, if all the, ve if the vehicle was the same, which drivers are the best? The rally driver, the Indy driver, the Formula One driver? And that is what the race of champion is meant to find out. So I guess we'll be seeing this on TV soon and they're, they're here at Cars and Coffee to show off their, the Specs car. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, it's manual, six B engine not sure what engine they're running but I, I guess if you go to raceofchampion.com or do a google search for roc uh, you'll get the full specs on this vehicle smart truck big price Uh, continue right along, we got the McLaren 720, Corvette Z06, another Ferrari 458. I always liked this Ferrari, the last of the natural aspirated V8. Uh, after this model, they replaced it with a 488, which was a turbocharged motor, and it doesn't sound as good. F430, F360, there's a 488, this uh, replaced the 458 with a turbocharged motor. Uh, it's faster, but does not sound as good. Ferrari California, uh, 360 Challenge Edition, very nice. Uh, another Ford GT, this one has carbon fiber wheels and, and a red cap. Ferrari F12, J's Ford GT, and uh, the, the Toyota Supra. Yeah, Toyota Supra. Supercharged Mustang. Oh, uh, looks like a Pro Charger. No, oh, yeah, a Vortex. Okay, a Vortex Supercharger. Cromero and the Cromero from Simon. More McLaren. Plymouth huh. Prowler. Another McLaren. M Power BMW. Big wing in the back. Gallardo, Jaguar. Lots of cars here. A Corvette Grand Sport, that's for sale. Pretty big crowd today, lots of people. Oh, 
Okay. There you go. Start them young. Start them young. Yeah, she's not really driving. The parents using an eye and an app to control control it. Kind of cool. <laughs> oh, the blood bank is here. So yeah. the San Diego blood bank is here. If you want to donate some blood, you know. Yeah, sure, why not? This looks like the car of the week. Uh, I see Simon there doing uh, filming, showing off the car. So I imagine I imagine this vehicle won the car of the week. And for winning car of the week, uh, you get a Maguire's detailing kit. So uh, I see Simon interviewing the owner and showing off the car now. And it blows a fuse. So put the fuse back in, blows another fuse. And so then I think, okay, no worries. I'll put a bit of tin foil for the cigarette and pack it around. And then I blew yep. up the stereo. And that's you have to I call it a week, there's a price. That Ford Cortina was positive for I, I know this is a body kit, but what kind of, what's the base on this thing? It looks like a kit. Not sure what it's based on. Oh, I think it's something put a, put a kit over a Lotus. If you're going to go on a rally across America using a Porsche Panamera, it's actually really, really smart. I mean, these things are fast, they're comfortable, they cover grounds at high speed. Perfect, you know, perfect. I would use that myself. A murdered out Model 3. Everything been blacked out, even all the, uh, the trims there all got blacked out. The the badging, yeah, vinyl wrapped. That's uh, yeah, all blacked out. Murdered out model three looks quite nice. I know I saw a convertible I saw thing. Yes, I like it. This would be great for, you know, going to the beach and stuff. Awesome. Vintage muscle car, Dodge Charger RT, another, another Charger, and the Super B or Super Bird. Yeah, that, that's vintage right there. Two Super Light Lotus, got the Lotus Chatham 7, the Cosworth motor and the Lotus Elise. Yeah, they're both small and light and nimble. Ah, it's a dog again. Look how they look playing with widget. <laughs> That's blue, right? Isn't it? Blue. Blue made widget. Cardigan <laughs> Welsh Cardigan. Yeah. A hot rod Cadillac. Yeah, you know, I lump Cadillac with the same branding as Lexus. It's supposed to be a luxury car. And then some people, they figure, hey, why not? Let's put canards and spoilers and big brakes on this thing and, and turn, in, turn a luxury car into a hot rod. <laughs> but there you go. Glamper vehicle. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's check out the glamper. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. All the comforts of home. It, it looks broken, like it's been uh, somebody trashed it and smashed it, but it's actually, it's on airbags and it's been lower. So once the owner gets back, he'll just hit a button and it'll raise back up and the wheels will look in correct alignment, unlike right now. Yeah. But at least in this stage, you cannot be told. So, you know, he can park it anywhere illegally and they can't tow him. But I'm sure some, some tow truck driver will just be figured out some way. Coming up to the, uh, the last lane, this is the end of the uh, Cars and Coffee parking lot. It's basically these cars here are the one that came late to the party and they end up parking here. A lot of them are leaving now because uh, I kind of came to the party late myself. Uh, the event runs from 9 to 11 and I, show up my, I showed up here at 10.20, so yeah. 
That's why the empty space. A lot of cars already left. And this is the end. So we got a Lexus, a BMW, and a Honda S2000. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a self OC calls and coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The event is kid friendly, family friendly, dog friendly, and uh, they also support a good cause. In this case, the San Diego blood bank to you know help save lives and stuff so if, if you're in the OC area and you're interested in cars and you want to spend the morning checking them out this is a great place to check out so uh yeah I come here every Saturday whenever I'm, a, I'm in the OC area it's a lot of fun you should check it out John Shelf and John thank you very much for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up please like and share my video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time